Ever caught a whiff of the enchanting aroma of oud and wondered why it's often referred to as liquid gold? Oud, a resinous substance derived from the heart of the agarwood tree, has been prized for centuries for its unique complex scent. Its rarity and the intricate process of harvesting make it one of the most expensive natural resources in the world. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole intriguing world that revolves around Oud, a world of luxury, tradition and sustainability. From the lush forests of Southeast Asia to the bustling markets of the Middle East, the story of Oud is a tale of demand and supply, of culture and commerce, and of conservation and consumption. Today we delve into the world of Oud, uncovering the secrets of its high price, its origins and its consumers. So, why does Oud command such a hefty price tag? Well, it all starts with the agarwood tree, a species that holds the precious Oud resin. But there's a catch. The resin only forms when the tree is infected by a certain type of mold, a phenomenon that is as rare as it is unpredictable. And it doesn't stop there. Once an infected tree is located, the process of extracting the resin is painstakingly labour-intensive. Workers must carefully chip away at the wood to reach the fragrant heart of the tree. It's a time-consuming task that requires a meticulous eye and a steady hand. But the journey doesn't end with the extraction. The resin must then be distilled, a process that yields a surprisingly small amount of ord oil. This tiny yield combined with the rarity of the resin and the laborious extraction process makes out a truly precious commodity. Oud's rarity and the arduous process of obtaining it make it as valuable as gold. Let's journey to the places where Oud originates. Picture vast landscapes of Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Laos and Malaysia. Now shift your gaze to the lush greenery of Northeast India, particularly Assam. These regions are the epicenters of Oud production, the birthplaces of the liquid gold we've been discussing. Why these specific locations, you ask? Well, it's all about the environment. Agarwood trees, the source of Oud, need a very specific climate to thrive. They prefer the tropical and subtropical conditions found in these areas, where the weather is mostly hot and humid. But it's not just about the weather. The soil type, the elevation, even the surrounding flora and fauna all play crucial roles in the growth and well-being of agarwood trees. From these regions, the precious agarwood resin travels the globe, infusing our lives with its unique and captivating scent. These regions are the heartlands of the world's Oud production. Who are the biggest consumers of Oud and what should we consider when buying it? Let's delve into this. The Middle East has a deep-rooted cultural connection with Oud. For centuries, it's been a staple in perfumes, incense and even traditional medicine. The region's luxury market is a significant driver of Oud demand. However, with this high demand comes a hefty price, the over-harvesting of the precious agarwood trees. Many of these species are now endangered due to unsustainable practices. This brings us to an important point. When buying oud, it's crucial to consider where it comes from. Make sure to choose oud that's been sustainably sourced. This not only helps preserve agarwood trees, but also ensures the longevity of the oud industry. While the allure of oud is undeniable, its future lies in our hands through responsible consumption.